everybody, welcome back to my channel. Amy here with Organized Hobbit. Today's video is going to be kind of giving you guys an idea of what I'm going to be doing from one book to lie. Doing a flip through of my new notebook. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that I've decided to finish with my Scribbles That Matter journal. Um, reason being is that I always find at least six months into the year, you know, this time it came a little bit earlier. I need something fresh, I need something new, and I mean, by no means do I want to stop bullet journaling. I love my bullet journal. You know, this has been a journey that I've been on for the last almost year, and I've loved it. You know, filled so many pages, getting organized, figuring things out. You know, I've created a few bullet journals for different things, and I love it. And I've loved my Scribbles That Matter notebook, don't get me wrong, completely love them, love the, the customer service, love the entire package. Reason being that I am actually switching from this style of notebook, which specifically I'm talking about the brand, not the notebook style, to a Leuchtturm notebook is for really two simple reasons. Number one, I already had it. I didn't want to have to pay for another one because I wanted to keep with the pink theme that I've been kind of going with for this year. Um, so I didn't need to go and buy another one. Number two, I really like the Lee Trim notebooks. I know people say, meh, 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 the paper's too thin, blah, 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 blah. It's terrible. It's so expensive, blah, 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 blah. By all means, buy what you want, do what works for you. I like the Lloyd Trim notebooks. I actually use them for quite a few different projects and things. So I have no issues with sticking with what works for me. And what works for me is my Lloyd Trim notebooks. So that is that. So, um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the cover. If you know what a Leuchtturm is, you know it's just kind of like this nice hardbound cover. And I'm actually keeping it in a Luna Blue Bags for, on Etsy cover. Um, she has a ton of them on her Etsy and I really, really love them. <laughs> and that's actually, uh, something else I've been keeping in here. This is kind of like a pen testing cleaning page. You can see there where I scribbled off some of the, like, the black from the gray. I like to have an extra page in there for that. And, yeah. So, my bullet journal is currently living in this beautiful cover. My Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pen fits in here nice and pretty. It's in size small. And I really, really like it. Um... So getting into this, I have switched up a couple things and I'm going to kind of go into that a little bit. One of the biggest things that I found that I really liked was having my collections in the front and I'm just going to remove this for now. So I did stick with that, but I kind of took out some of the collections, moved some stuff around. Um, when I started my bullet journal, I actually started with a 2018 page and I'm actually just going to move the camera up just a little bit. I'm going to say move my cell phone. So you guys can see a little bit better but I started with a 2018 cover page and what I decided to do this time because obviously going in halfway through the year 240 pages is not gonna just like I'm not gonna need to have 240 pages just for six months so instead of creating like kind of a year within it because some of these collections will obviously be yearly but then I can create more um I just decided to do a little drawing of a succulent so changing things up I decided to keep this cover page just kind of you know nice just simple do a little bit of a drawing on it and I actually created this using my mild liners both the actual legitimate version and I also used the mild liners that you can find on like Wish and AliExpress the kind of fake ones to create this little layout um if you're curious about how I did this please let me know down below and if you like succulents, give this video a like, because I also love succulents, if you can't tell. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the opening that I wanted to create. Uh, one other thing that I did actually change was I didn't bother doing an index. I did create, like, work with one on my previous bullet journal. Never really used it. I know what's in here. I know where I have to go, so not a big deal. Uh, next thing that I kind of did is I put my books right at the beginning, because I found when I threw them in later on I wasn't really like it was several pages in and it wasn't really as excited to look at it so I kind of changed it up I did add the 2018 header just so I know that these are in 2018 
and my goal is actually 59 books I have since surpassed it so when I created this little spread I also added a second page just so that way I could continue on with my sort of theme I guess and keep it all together for one year and then if I decide to continue this notebook into next year I have room for that as well so going on for that um, I have a book reference because I have Kindle Unlimited and I found that I when I created this kind of like make do page and it was all, like I wasn't really very well planned out when you read don't just remember the books remember their authors like it was like a bleh page because I just wanted to throw it down I didn't really plan it out I just wanted something simple book reference with a nice big side so I could look at it so that way when I'm looking at my Kindle Unlimited books I can reference back to different um, authors that I really like and book series that I read by them. The next thing that I put in here was my Copic refill list and if you're not sure what a Copic marker is it's these lovely bad boys. Mine are, I'm going to grab a little bit of a cleaner one. Um, these are alcohol based markers. They're used for art and whatnot. They're not meant to be used in a bullet journal because alcohol based ink will go through your paper like nobody's business. Um, water based ink is always best to be used on this. But I have some that have been since dried or kind of gotten a little bit destroyed over the years. So I'm just putting on here that if they're replaced and whatnot, just so I can keep track of that as I find markers that are dried out. I also did want to include in here a couple of authors that I'm looking at. Um, Terry Bull Rider has a set of like dragon romance books and things and I'm really interested in them. So I decided to do a page for that as well as the Nocturne Falls series. Um, anytime you see this kind of strip of washi tape, it's because I've actually ripped out a page. And I just hit my camera. Sorry. Eh, come on. Focus. There we go. Um, I've actually ripped out a page and I use this washi tape to kind of keep this one from slipping out because sometimes the actual binding's not the strongest. So I wanted to make sure that it would be okay. So there's that one and then I have my Nocturne Falls with a little pumpkin and this is actually a really interesting series because it's all based in a town that loves Halloween like it's celebrates Halloween 365 days a year so I really recommend checking it out. There's a main story and then there's guest authors that actually write in the universe of Nocturne Falls so one other thing that I did change and this is one of the two savings changes that I created for this new bullet journal. First one being is my bullet journal I kind of created a like a chart system where as I saved things went up but I wanted to create something that I could both add to and move down from because I can put in here like that I saved it but this is emergency savings so if I needed to access that money okay well I now back down here and I can't chart it so this wasn't working essentially so I have this in here and then I think what I'm going to do, and this is something I got to figure out in the next day or two, is do like monthly and then just kind of put like say $200 or whatever. And then if negative 200 and put why it was taken out type of thing, because then I can keep track of it and then I know where I'm sitting at monthly. So if I have 200 one month and then 100 the next, I can put in there, we'll say new clothes or whatever. That's not an emergency expense, but you know what I mean. But I also have my emergency savings, my Christmas savings, my extra savings, and my 52-week savings, which I am still going to continue. I have a little um, app in my phone now that I'm doing this with, so that way I don't have to keep it specifically charted out. I know which ones I've checked off. And then again, monthly as I go up, I will put different totals. And I think that's how I'm going to break up this one. On the next page I decided to throw in, it's not something that I had in a collection here is just one line to keep you motivated to keep living. Um, mental health is something that's definitely very important, something I want to be cognitive of when I consider my own. I wanted to have something in here so if I have a really shitty day, I can just put a line in here, put something in here that motivates me, even if it's just like the word live, something, I don't know. But that'll be in here. This is definitely going to be more of a private page. I don't think it'll be something that I share. But I did also add in a quotes page. So any fun quotes that I come across, I can find. So I just added this in here and a pretty little pink border. And last in my collections is my $1 or a few page. Now this is something 
I haven't really seen anywhere, so I don't know if I can credit this to anybody, but this is something that I decided to do because I was actually looking at a Sudoku page and I kind of thought that that would be a cool idea, but I didn't want to go all the way up to $9, so I kind of created a spread and it starts at one, it ends at one, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily a dollar that I put in. I can put in like, say, $20 and then just mark off the ones that attribute to creating that total no idea how much is this is going to be at the end I am really interested to find out I mean I could do the math but when I actually reach that goal I will know and this is actually going to be I think my laptop fund I was going to do my 52 week savings but I think I have something that I want to do for that specifically for my channel so that is kind of something different now and I'm flailing my hands so I apologize but that's kind of the collections that I had added in um a couple of things that I changed is I didn't do any swatching in my notebook this time around. I didn't really see the point. I know what colors that I'm working with. I don't really need to have them swatched out a second time. And quite honestly, like Tombow, for example, like what you see is what you get. There's not a huge difference between, you know, this color and then this, right? Like it's not really a significant difference. So... I didn't see the point in having to swatch them again. That might change. You never know. I might do a swatch page when I'm bored. But now that takes us into July. I feel like this is going to be like the world's longest video. So I apologize if you stuck around this long. I applaud you and thank you. Um, so this is my cover sheet for my calendar. Again, like I said, I split it up. I wanted to have some pages for collections and then get right into the calendar. So this belongs to you make it happen and I think that's a very significant thing you know I don't like the whole it belongs to me so that way you guys know that it belongs to me I'm the one that looks at this every day I'm the one that's gonna know that it belongs to me so wanted something in here and then I do a super simple cactus I definitely did not want to put in the effort that I put in to do this one so it's much simpler but I just want to remark um, for all of the y'all uh, haters when it comes to the paper. I mean, look at that. Look at that. There ain't no bleed through on that page. None. So, eh. Anyway. <laughs> um, so we go into my July page and I decided to do watermelons. Isn't it cute? So July 2018 did some lettering and did a little bit of a gray shadow on it didn't actually let the marker dry long enough you can see where I kind of picked it up a little bit but I kind of like it it's you know their mistakes are going to happen it's, it's part of the life of the marker so and then we go into schedule plans and posts this is the first time that I've actually done a monthly page like this before um if you go into my planner previously when I started out my year I had like level 10 life future logs and stuff like that goals uh, my year in pixels I decided to wipe all of that I I wasn't keeping up on it I don't know if it's something that I actually find is useful so I kind of integrated everything into one so I'm only looking at a month at a time for this month I really didn't do a mood tracker I I feel like things are gonna be too chaotic for me to even bother looking at that so I just made it really simple schedule on one side plans and posts because that way I know like for example tomorrow we're going to the Canada Parade plus tomorrow is going to be J July 1st which is happy Canadian day to Canada hi um so that'll be on here and that's the day that this post actually goes up so next is a little bit of a gratitude log I did decide to keep that up because I absolutely have loved doing it um I started it actually here because I wanted to do something on the back of this page so then I continued it for the next couple of months and really, really enjoyed it. I, Like I said, I loved my gratitude. I really didn't keep up on my mood trackers as much as I should have, but I did that. And I also drew Wally the watermelon up here, which is super cute. And then finally, my week. So again, I kind of switched things up a little bit. I was doing more of a to-do list previously, just check-offs but I really want to be on top of my social media and things that I need to get done so anything that's plan related will go in here any editing any filming that kind of stuff is going in here because I finally have figured out how to edit some of the stuff in my videos 
So that's really exciting. So I have that thrown in here. Um, in terms of One Book July, what I'm planning to do is follow up with any like notes for videos and stuff in here specifically. I think that I want to do that. Previously, I was utilizing, and if I could just grab it here, my organized Hobbit's social media notebook. Um, I haven't really used it much, if I'm being quite honest. I think that I might still use it for kind of working out plans and then anything concrete that goes in here because I like this for kind of planning things out for making things I guess like ideas and whatnot and then when I have a final I never really write in here which I hate I like the fact that I have a final and I think that I'll put that in here and it'll be a nice reference back point so I know that this week in July these were posts that I did like this was how I broke it down and whatnot so that's going to be in here there's going to be a project management section that's going to be actually coming into this notebook that's probably not going to be ready until August so that's going to be a little bit of a different video I think I might do a full video on that one but yeah so that is basically it um I've really simplified for July like it's I'm really trying to get a grip on everything that I have and whatnot um as well as gearing up to start preparing for um preptober and nanorimo in november so yeah but anyway as always thank you guys so much for watching i always greatly appreciate it when you watch my videos and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe down below i really like i said i do appreciate it i love doing these videos with you guys and yeah so i will talk to you next time bye